Cause somebody borrowed some money from me and they don't pay you back. Be okay. Move forward. Just know that that person just bought themselves out of a good friendship. Feel me? Let that marinate. What's going on? You already know who it is. I am your guy, Neil Freaking Legend. And I am your fortune cookie guru. And my friends, you already know what it is. We down to two. So we ain't got to do the fingers of morality. Oh, fingers of morality. No, it's fingers of fortune. So fingers of fortune, grab, grab, grab. I'm giving you the cookie that we shall have message in the right. We're going to do the right one. And you know what I do. I open up the plastic if I can do it. Yeah. Open up the plastic. Nibble just a... Oh, I'm ready for that one. Then I bust it wide open. Ooh, I'm about to tear this cookie up. I'll put it over there for later. And then I'll show y'all the fortune cookie. You know what I do. I read it. Then I give you two to three minutes of motivation. Let go. Let go. Let's see. The kindness you once gave a friend will soon be returned. Woo, I hope this is a hundredfold. <laughs> the kindness you once gave a friend will soon return. The thing about me, and I'm not patting myself on the back, I am a very kind person. And there's a lot of people I consider my friends. There's a lot of people that I'm still friends with from elementary, middle school, high school, Tennessee. I have been over the whole United States. I have a lot of friends. There's a lot of people that I consider associates that I have done nice things for. Now, I don't keep track. I don't keep track of the things that I do nice things. I don't even know nice things I have done people. I just do it and keep it moving. But I have done a lot. And so what I'm trying to say, if this thing says the kindness you once gave a friend will soon be returned, I got a lot coming my way. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait because I, I, I'm beyond, I do so much. And, I, and, I, and I'm proud about that. It was one point in time in my life that like, I'm like, you know, I don't want to brag about the things that I do for people. I'm not going to brag, but if somebody asks, I do a lot. I do a lot. If it's just money, if it's just listening, if it's just being there, I would go the extra mile beyond the call of duty for a friend and even for somebody that I really don't know because I just care about people. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to care about people so much that you would go beyond the scope of your job, the scope of your friendship, the scope of your relationship. Go beyond that and be a better person. If they say go a mile, go with them two and a half miles. If they want a, a, a sweater from you, get them a scarf as well. If they need $50, that's probably what they're saying to you. They might need 100 Give them another 50 Just do that. And, and the key, the key, this is the most important thing. Do not want to get paid back in return. Ah! <laughs> I know y'all tripping about that one. See, a lot of y'all do a lot of things hope, hoping for something to come your way um, um, in, in, in a blessed return. A lot of y'all do things for people and you're forcing them to pay you back. And when they don't pay you back, in the amount of time that you put, you get mad and you get upset and you done messed up a whole friendship because you was doing something nice and now you want payment back. Let me say that if somebody asks you for money that's hurting and you got it to give and now you're trying to force them to give you back, I want you to understand. They ask you that money for that money for a reason. It might take some little time for them to give it back to you. And if you gave it to Gil, then obviously you ain't needed at that moment and yourself was together. So why are you steady stabbing a knife in the side of their neck trying to get this stuff back? Like, mm, come on, you're going to pay this stuff back. Why are you that type of person? If this is your friend, if you're the lover person you say you are, if your heart goes out to them, why not just give it to them as a gift? Feel me? You see it? All that stuff, hating people, sleepless nights about people, 
not paying me back, I don't have none of them. That logic don't apply to me. And the reason why it don't, because when I give something to somebody, I don't want nothing back. If you pay me back, cool, fine and dandy. But if you need this right now, I'm not about to chase you down for those $20. I'm not about to do that. And if I give you a gift for $300, I give you a gift for $300. Feel me? But if you must want your money back, if you must want your money back and you feel like you do not and you feel like you are not going to get your money back, take this logic. However much money they borrow or lend from you, and we're talking about money. Let me look, Before I say that, this ain't really necessarily talking about money. This is just kindness. I don't know how my mind got the money. I know this is a lot what y'all deal with. So it's all about kindness. But if somebody borrows some money from you and they don't pay you back, be okay. Move forward. Just know that that person just bought themselves out of a good friendship. Feel me? Let that marinate. Just to bring it home because I got off track with just the money. Like I said, it ain't even have to be, it don't even have to be about the money. Anything kindness, just kindness, just being a listening ear, just having to be in a ride for somebody. Shoot, if you got an extra room, just letting somebody get a room for a day, day or two just to clear their mind or something like that. It can be anything, my friends. So I want you to think about that. From this point forward, I want you to be a little bit more kinder to your friends, to your family, and to people you don't even know. Guys, I am your boy, Neil Freaking Legend. I am your fortune cookie guru. And my friends, you got what it takes.